Support Vector Machine. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another topic of clustering, which, as, as you can see, support vector machine. SVM, or support vector machine, is a supervised machine learning algorithm. It is used for both classification and regression, but mostly suited for classification. The objective of SVM algorithm is to find a hyperplane that distinctly classifies the data points. The dimension of the hyperplane depends on the number of features or columns. If the number of input features is two, then the hyperplane is just a line. If the number of input features is three, then the hyperplane becomes a 2D plane. This is one example of two input features. We have a gap in the normal patient and the cancer patient. And then this is another example where it is 2D and we're separating points. Selecting the best hyperplane. As you can see in image one, you have three lines, A, B, and C. Now, if you talk about A, it's misclassifying some points. And if you talk about C, it's doing the same too. Now, when we look at B, it's just perfect. So line B is our best hyperplane. Now, when we look at into image number two, we see all of the lines are same, but we want the maximum distance from both of the clusters. Line B is too close to cluster blue. Line A is too close to cluster B red, while line C is just right. It's the maximum distance. Now the applications of SVM in the real world. Face detection. SVM classifies parts of the image as a face and non-face and creates a square boundary around the face. If you have noticed when you are taking a picture of someone. Text and hypertext categorization. SVM allows text and hypertext categorization for both in inductive and transitive models. They use training data to classify documents into different categories. It categorizes on the basis of score generated and then compares with the threshold value. Classification of images. Use of SVM provides better search accuracy for image classification. It provides better accuracy in comparison to the traditional query-based searching technique, like Google, for example. Bioinformatics. It includes the protein classification and cancer classification. It use, we use SVM for identifying the classification of genes, patients on the basis of genres and other biological problems. Protein fold and the remote homology detection. So we apply SVM algorithms for the protein remote homology detection. Now the handwriting recognition. We use SVM to recognize handwritten characters used widely. The advantages and disadvantages. Advantages. SVM works relatively well when there is a clear margin of separation between classes. SVM is more effective in high dimensional spaces. SVM is effective in cases where the number of dimensions is greater than the number of samples. And SVM is relatively memory efficient. Now the disadvantages or the drawbacks. SVM algorithm is not suitable for large data sets. SVM does not perform very well when the data set has more noise. Example, target classes are overlapping. In cases where the number of features for each data point exceeds the number of training samples, S the SVM will underperform. And as support, vector classifier works by putting the data points above and below the classifying hyperplane, and there is no probabilistic explanation for the classification. We are now going to move to the coding part, which is going to be in the next video. So see you then.